Welcome back to another episode of In the Spotlight. Today we're very happy to have with us two filmmakers from Greece that are being showcased at the 10th annual New York Greek Film Festival. A story about a professional golfer who travels to her grandparents' village on the island of Rhodes to escape the negative publicity surrounding her suspension from the LPGA tour. Once she's there, she rediscovers her Greek heritage, mentors a young girl determined against all odds to become a golf sensation, and rallies the townspeople to stand up against a greedy real estate developer who has designs not only on the local golf course, but on the village as well. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Tom Shodis, ladies and us. gentlemen, a Greek American who was born and raised here in Astoria. Thank you for having me. Tom, you have some wonderful actors uh, in this movie. They're famous. It's Shannon Elizabeth. Uh, we have Shannon Elizabeth who I'm sure a lot of your viewers know. Uh, she was, I think her biggest role was maybe in American Pie. Yes. Um, we have John, John O'Hurley, who is from Seinfeld. Uh, he played Jay Peterman. We love John O'Hurley. We have some great actors from Greece. We have Renos Haralambidis, and we have Manos Avras. Both are uh, tremendous actors. We're big fans. Uh, um, Everyone knows very Manos very talented Manos. Yes, and Manos. Manos got us as well. Manos is, has a career here as well. Is internationally, he's very well known. Renos, Renos did an incredible job in English. I, I think uh, a lot of people don't associate him with uh, uh, with English speaking movies. Roles, yeah. yeah, and he did he did tremendously. Uh, beyond that, we have um, and a great director, Michael Nichols. Michael Achilles Nichols. He is. Um, a Greek American, American, well. American guys, Greek American that well. we didn't know that either. Yeah, he was actually our, our lead producer is George Stephanopoulos, who is the cousin of George Stephanopoulos. Of GMA. Wrote the <laughs> script. It was his idea. He's been trying to do it as a dream for a long time. He this he's he's been trying to get this done f since 2004. He got the inspiration during the Olympics yeah. in in Greece. Uh, and he did it successfully. He did it. George and Michael actually met each other in 1981 at the Ionian Village. So they've been friends for a pretty long time. Um, the, the script went through several iterations. It was written by another Greek American, uh, Paul Lingus, wrote it along with George Stephanopoulos. Um, and things it was changed. in the making, in it was, the making it was, for it, a long it was, time. it was in the making. When Michael finally got attached to the movie in, in the role of director, uh, his wife, who is also a, a, a screenwriter, uh, Julia, Julia Wall Nichols, um, they redid the script, and it is what we see today on film. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bunch of Greek American boys uh, <laughs> making a movie in Greece. It's, it's something it's all of us wanted to do. I think it's great. Yeah. Tell us about uh, filming in Greece, and it was actually during the uh, Greek economic crisis. Yeah, just currently. It's well, the, the, this crisis has, has been going on for the for, the, for the last uh, it's for decade. The, well, it's not quite a decade yet. I, it, it broke, I think, in 2010, but things have been getting increasingly difficult. For the for anyone that, that that's that's still living and working in Greece, I've been working working and living there for almost thirty years. Uh, thirty years. You have to say I have to make note of this, guys. That uh, Tom is an award-winning international producer from Greece, so we do have to say that, Tom. Yeah, um, how was uh, you know one of the things that you guys did, which I uh, you know commend you for, is you hired a lot of uh, a cast and crew from Greece. Well, uh, other than, than than the two main roles, um, our our lead actor. I forgot to say, uh, the little girl, uh, nine-year-old Victoria Miller. She is from Patra. Her father is uh, Scottish. Her mother wow. is Greek. Is Greek Australian, and uh, she's a talented, talented little girl. Uh, she still is, steals every scene she's in. Scene. Oh God, I mean, she's, she's, she's just beautiful. Um, beyond that, we have um, Alexandros Milonas and Olga Damani, who are the grandparents. Christo Suarez, who plays the priest, and we had. Tons and tons of support from the island of Rhodes, the people who were there, the extras, the, the villages, uh, the town of Lindos, um, Rhodos Palace Hotel, who, who put us up. And Rhodos is just such Rhodos is a just beautiful, 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 I mean, beautiful. There's beautiful. so many sea sets. Uh, there's like Rhodes is a set on its own. It's well, just all of Greece is a, is, yes. is, is, is a movie Greece set. Is this, a movie this, this, set. Is all, this has always been. I, this has always been my. The my, scenery is just. You this don't, know, my to, problem, you don't right. know what to shoot first. Exactly, like, oh, exactly. look at this shot, look at that shot. Greece is a country which 
should be working as a movie set on its own. It's, it's a whole back lot on its own. You got, you've got, of course, summers and beaches and islands, but beyond that, you've got mountains. Oh, yeah. You have snow. We have history. We have, we have cities. Buildings we have subways. Structures. Everything. Yeah. You can shoot anything you want in Greece. Yeah. Unfortunately, things aren't, th th things aren't easy. Um, what was hard during this shoot? What was the hardest, you know, what was the biggest hurdle you guys had to face? Um, huh. I, I really can't say that we had many problems. We were working with a Greek production company, CL Productions, and they, they, they kind of foresaw a lot of the issues that would come up before they would come up. Very um, good. Congratulations. We didn't have any problem with strikes. We didn't have any, any problems with the, the crews over there. The, the crews in Greece are some of the best in the world. And I've been working in Greece for all these years, and, you know, and I've done work here and in other countries. They are probably the most imaginative and hardworking crews in the world, and they will find solutions for you. They get involved in, in, in this project. Our, our people were part of our team. They didn't just look at it as work for hire. They were swing away. They were all for this movie. They, they did whatever they could, you know, and, and there was sometimes we had a few late hours and there was not much grumbling. They understood, they understood sometimes our, you know, our schedules yes. had to be what they had to be. It was, things, things, things were awesome. We had so an, the an amazing- work hard. What they say is not true, guys, and, and oh, Tom not tr Oh, not true at all, not true at all, not true at all. I, it, it's, it, it, it pains me when I hear that, that Greeks are lazy. We're not lazy. The Greeks in Greece are not lazy. Not lazy. No, there's, there, there's, there's a section of, of public service which is, which is problematic, and it's, of course, not my position to talk about that. Right. But, but if that's what you're gonna talk about, yeah. But, but Greece is not no public industry. service. No, <laughs> Greece is not. Greece is not the public service. Everyone, everyone works harder yes. than anyone else in Europe, and probably here, and they get paid a lot less than they should be paying. It's an issue. Yeah. So, uh, Tom, where can one uh, see Swing Away? Right now, we don't know exactly where we're opening. We're still waiting for a definitive opening date. You can find us at www.swingawaymovie.com. Swing Away Movie. It's important. Swing Away. Swing Away Movie.com. Not just swing away because you can find various other things. Which has and I want you to tell us about the Greek Film Festival, how it's helped you get your m movie featured and showcased and, and, and the wonderful artists that are part of it. Okay, well, first off, the Greek Film Festival helped us because we, we opened in December. We premiered here in New York in Astoria um, at the Museum of the Moving, Moving Image, uh, courtesy of the Greek Film Festival. So they premiered us there. They are showing us over here now, again, during the uh, 10th anniversary, doing the festival itself. Uh, it's, uh, it's a it's, great opportunity for filmmakers, actors, you know, producers. Absolutely, ab absolutely. It, the one thing that we do have to say about the New York uh, Greek Film Festival is that it's been going on strong for 10 years. It is a wonderful opportunity for Greek artists, directors, actors, producers, writers to showcase their work. We're very happy they're doing this. Congratulations to Jimmy Demetro and to the whole team uh, and volunteers that uh, work you know, endless hours to make it happen every year. And we're very happy it brought Swing Away and many other wonderful uh, movies. We're gonna cut to a commercial break and when we come back, another great filmmaker from Greece, part of the New York Greek Film Festival. Ο νόμο για του προσωπικού τραυματισμού είναι πολύ σημαντικό για όσου τραυματιστούν από εξωτερικό παράγοντα. Στο δικηγορικό γραφείο Lactos Lactos Associates προσφέρουμε την κατάλληλη βοήθεια, καθοδήγηση και υποστήριξη σε αυτή τη δύσκολη διαδικασία. Ο πελάτη μα δεν πληρώνει προκαταβολή. Εξοφλούμαστε όταν τακτοποιήσουμε την υπόθεση. Το δικηγορικό γραφείο Lactos Lactos Associates είναι εδώ για να σα εκπροσωπήσει και να υπερασπιστεί τα δικαιώματά σα. Look around, and you'll see 61,000 sets of eyes that look at healthcare differently. Where others may see a curtain, we saw a way to invent a new one that reduces infection. Where others see a call light, we see a call that won't go unanswered. While others focus on healing your body with new medication, we're researching a microchip that helps your body heal itself. In every one of our 21 hospitals and 450 community and research facilities, 
our 122,000 eyes are looking to not just raise our standard of health care, but raise the standard of health care. The North Shore LIJ Health System is now Northwell Health. Look north. And we're back on In the Spotlight, and we're very honored to have with us an international Greek filmmaker, uh, award-winning filmmaker, Yoros Gigapepas, who is being honored this year by the New York Greek Film Festival uh, for two of his films. He's showcasing two films this year, Silent and City of Children. Silent is a haunting allegory of generational discord. A young opera singer suddenly loses her voice and retreats to her family's nearly abandoned house to try to put herself together. The people closest to her come to visit, ostensibly to be of help. Instead, old issues come to light and bonds are severed, leaving her more vulnerable than ever. City of Children is about a city on the edge of dystopia. Four powerful stories are played out and each one dealing with pregnancy, each presenting a harrowing perspective of the beginnings of lives amongst couples in a city gripped by despondency. George, congratulations. We're very proud of you. You're a Greek uh, award-winning international filmmaker and this is uh, wonderful and we're very honored to have you here with us. And I do have to say he used to be my director on my TV show in Greece. <laughs> So it's the honor is double for me. You are the great. <laughs> <laughs> you are great. So George, congratulations. Tell us about your two films. Uh, my first feature, Silt of Children, um, is a film that uh, speaks about uh, four pregn pregnancy stories in the Athens of uh, Crisis, uh, 2010. Uh, talks about um, uh, how. Uh, the bringing of a new life changes the life of couples. Uh, it's not a film about children. It's a film about uh, immaturity of uh, couples. We can see... Um, I like the play of last, words in that. I mm, like the play of words with the title. Yeah. Immaturity of couples, yes. Immaturity of couples. Mm. An environment um, very strange. Uh, it was the, the first years of the crisis, and we, we can see different stories that, when we go to the end, connect to a common end. And did you? What inspired you to write this script? Was it the um, events that were going on during the Greek economic crisis? The, the beginning connection, of the connection between the meaning of a pregnancy is a crash in the life of a couple. All are different after a pregnancy. And we see the crush of loves. Actually, it's a film about uh, love affairs, mm -hmm. about couples. And these stories are, I mean, we all find something uh, of ourselves in these stories. Everyone relates to something. Somehow. Because there are d d different cases. Uh, uh, we're watching uh, the struggle of, of a woman to, to, to uh, uh, to bring uh, a baby and uh, she can't uh, or we can see a young woman who is pregnant and she doesn't want her baby. We have a lot of contradictions in this film. Wow. A lot of contradictions and I think that's true. How did the audience uh, uh, react to the film? Look, someone, maybe hacker, uh, uploaded the film in YouTube. Uh, we didn't know about that. We learned that in a month he had 50,000 views. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> well, we're not, <laughs> we're not encouraging hacking people, <laughs> no. but I mean, it's good for you. I mean, you got your movie out there, but. Oh, it's a film that uh, traveled a lot. to uh, went to, to, get, to a lot of festivals, many awards. Um, what can I say about that? Um, it's, it's had a wonderful... Uh, there was uh, a wonderful actress, Kika Yer Yu. Uh, his performance and as an Iraqi pregnant who in the day of uh, giving birth stayed alone in her apartment. Oh, wow. And finally, uh, she gives birth uh, with the help of of a neighbor. This is a true story. Uh, they told me 
uh, happened in Athens in 2009. And alone. A woman alone. Migrant woman. Immigrant. Young woman. Immigrant giving woman, birth and she giving was helped by a neighbor. Probably. With the help of a neighbor. Uh, it, it is a, a peculiar adaptation of the most well-known story of uh, Maria and Joseph. And this is, uh, that's why it's he's, 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 he's Iraqi. Wow. Uh, and it happened to Athens in 2009. Based on a true story, parts of it. Congratulations. Mm. Talk to me about Silent. Silent is a different film. Um, it talks about uh, a young soprano uh, who, in her final courses in Aria in Poland, uh, in the moment he up to the stage to sing in front of the committee, of the, of the jury, excuse me, uh, he opens her mouth and she has no voice. She returns back uh, to Athens. Uh, she doesn't want to see anyone from her family. He, uh, she enters the old family empty house and she, she, she struggles to, to bring her voice back uh, with a damaged piano. It's the, the only uh, furniture, <laughs> there is the only object there is. Uh, That's left. Yeah. And she's trying to fix it, and uh, while she tried to fix it, he, he, trying to, 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 to struggles to, to bring her voice back. Uh, parallel, uh, all the, the members of the family, her close persons, is trying to, to reach her, to see her. And so we can see um, duets, meetings uh, with her and with another one. The other one is trying to speak, to speak, to speak, to speak, and she stays silent. Amazing. Uh, actually, the film uh, talks about the origin of our voice. It's not a film about, uh, you know, uh, um, the opera backstage and the problems of a soprano. No. Uh, the film uh, talks about the origin of, uh, of our voice and how much are we the owners of our voice. Voice meaning expression, mm -hmm. meaning identity, meaning, you know, all the things that create our self and our personality. Uh, a European film critic wrote uh, about the film, um, Hell is the people closest to you. <laughs> Meaning that uh, the, the environment of a family... Yes. Uh, it's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we don't want to believe that, but <laughs> for some people, unfortunately, it might be. Or there's always people and relationships that might be toxic mm. for people that... And yeah. This is something we need to realize in order to clean this up in our lives. It's very interesting. Yeah. Tell me about uh, Greece's film industry during this there is no, There is no uh, Greek film industry. <laughs> so it's uh, the good days there was, but I mean, there is, there is. I mean, you know, okay, okay. there really is. How, what are the biggest hurdles in producing film today in Greece? Look, uh, there are very two, there are two, um, great supporters, the Greek Film Center that keeps supporting us, and National Greek Television. These are two organizations that uh, keep trying to help us and to believe in uh, filmmaking. Uh, from the other hand, um, we, I mean the filmmakers, or we, we made films during crisis after 2009. Uh, we truly faced a lot of problems. You can understand it. Uh, we're in the middle of a deep economical crisis in Greece. We're not heroes. We're, we're trying the best. And, uh, but as you can understand, our films are low-budget films. But we hope and we try. <laughs> but you know, what I, I have uh, really uh, kind of uh, seen in the past couple of years is that there's a lot of creativity going on during this time in Greece uh, and mm. there are many films that are being made even with low budgets what do you think uh, is the reason behind this 
Is it the reason artists, because people want to express themselves? Artists want to express and always believe and uh, trying to, to not to stop the expression, the cre creativity, if, and if it's um, growing up with um, a, a few um, media or with a camera on the road or anything. So they're making it happen. Of course. <laughs> and they're working together, which is a very big deal. Yeah. So the crisis, you know, sometimes in a crisis there are some positive things that come out of it. I've seen a lot of positive things come out of uh, this with artists and, you know, through their expression. Yes, it's film. a positive contradiction. Yeah. Uh, and that's why we never stopped to make films yes. in every way. Uh, and did it our way. <laughs> and we're very happy that the Greek uh, Film Festival is honoring you this year here in New York. And the New York yeah, um, Greek Film Festival has done a lot to bring and showcase Greek artists. How do you feel about that? Uh, really, it's a great honor uh, for me to be here. And, and uh, I suppose for all uh, Greek directors. Uh, it's, it's a great chance and opportunity to, you know, to make a film in Greece under very difficult circumstances and to have the chance to screen it to the other side of Atlantic, to the Greek American and American audience. And I want to thank uh, New York City Greek Film Festival and James Demetro personally. Yes, we love James Demetro and we're big supporters. George, congratulations, Yorgo. <laughs> Yorgo, he Yorgo, George. Uh, we're big fans. Congratulations on everything you do. We'll watch out for you. Okay. Uh, Sorry for my terrible English. Your English is fine, <laughs> and your movies are universal. So, okay. uh, what I would like to say is uh, to our audience is to support the New York Greek Film Festival every year. Uh, because you'll get an opportunity to see the wonderful work that our Greek uh, artists are doing, the directors, the writers, the actors, the producers, and you get to see our beautiful homeland, Greece. Uh, and we get to support these uh, wonderful people. Uh, thank you for being on In the Spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time. <laughs>